Exploring the world of animals. Back with us today is Noelle Tarrant, a licensed animal educator and owner of Zoozort. And we have some friends with us today. Let's start talking about the armadillo. This is Bernice. This is Bernice, and she is a six-banded armadillo. And most people think of the armadillos, you know, the ones that live in the United States, yeah. like Texas and Florida. Um, there's only one, one armadillo, nine-banded, that lives in the United States. Okay. The rest are all like South America. And there are 20 different types of armadillos in the world. 20. Only one wow. of them can roll up into a ball. And it's the three-banded, much smaller. Oh. Now, if you see that there are bands on her body, see I'm kind of yeah. spreading these out a little bit? Yeah. Each type of armadillo has a different number can of I bands. Touch? Sure, you can feel her. Feel. If you feel here, too, this is soft. Okay, and that's a little so the harder. dark part is soft, and this is kind of hard. Yeah, it's like a tough And you skin. were telling me, because we were talking about this during the break, that this is... She, that she's heavy because she sinks in water. She can sink in the water. Each one of these little scoots has a piece of bone in it, allowing the armadillo to jump in the water. Let's say she needed to run away from a jaguar. She jumps in the water. She can actually hold her breath up to 10 minutes, and wow. she'll jump in the water, and then she kind of walks, uses her big claws, and kind of walks on the bottom of the lake. Wow. Now, she can do that. Now, if she wanted to swim, because armadillos are good swimmers, they take okay. a big, deep breath, and it actually allows them to swim. They kind of doggy paddle across the water. It's kind of neat. And then you said that she will, would live way under the ground. Ground, they dig burrows Which 20. is the purpose of the hairs. Yeah, and these hairs will almost act like a cat's whiskers. Feel it. Feel it. That's like, they're sensitive. And it, acts, it helps uh, them to feel their uh, way around. Hey. Now, she's uh. warm-blooded. When you touch her, right, she's warm? Yeah. Feel her, right? This is a mammal. A lot of people think these are reptiles. reptiles. Okay. And I was, I was explaining to Carlos before, because he said he, when he was in the Army, he was told not to touch these guys. Oh. But um, the um, our, uh, anteater, sloth, and armadillo cannot regulate their body temperature like we do, like a regular mammal. They actually have to go out under the sun and get warm every day. They can't regulate their body temperature. It's so it's kind of a cool thing. But yeah. um, she, she's pretty neat. Let's talk about this buddy back here. This is Oliver. Sure, let me grab him. And please. Oliver, it's okay. Says, Are my... you? Oliver is hiding <laughs> behind me. Are you shy? He says, and this is a kinkajou. This is a kinkajou. He's got his cherry in his mouth. So that, where that do they them. live? These guys that come from, they come from South America and Central America and Mexico, Hi. Southern Mexico. Now, come back here for a second. He's being shy. Now, do you feel how dense that fur is? Yes, That's very, very, dense. very thick. These guys will live up hundreds of feet up in the canopy of the rainforest. And they are nocturnal. Can you tell how big his eyes are? Yeah. Yeah, that's a sign of a nocturnal. You drool in here. <laughs> drool. That's not good. It's like um, my son. He drools all over me. That's okay. Now, what happens is these guys will live up there, and obviously they don't want to get stay wet all the time. Right. So this fur has kind of got an oil on it, which helps, helps. him to repel the rain. Oh, wow. Um, now, he's, he's nocturnal, so he can see very well at night, does not hey, see buddy. well during in the daytime. Now, put your arm out for me for one second. Okay, Here, we're let's running see if out we get... of time. Okay, I'm sorry. No, Check you're this fine. Out. He's oh, got gosh. a prehensile tail. Look at that. Look at you. You feel the muscle in that leg? Yeah. He's got a really prehensile tail. <laughs> Oliver's like, I am out of here. This live TV thing is not for me. Noelle, thank you so much. We Thanks appreciate for having it. Me. I want to mention, too, that Noelle is licensed. It's a really important thing when you're talking about animals and bringing them in to do demonstrations and things. Maybe we'll have her back on another time to talk about that. If you'd like to learn more about Zoozort and her live animal programs or see a list of upcoming events, go to NBC15.com and click on News Links. We'll thank be right you. back. Say bye.